Now in verse 26, we're introduced to Jeroboam. And Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, an Ephrathite of Zerida, Solomon's servant, whose mother's name was Zeruah, a widow woman, even he lifted up his hand against the king. And this was the cause that he lifted up his hand against the king. Solomon built Milo and repaired the breaches of the city of David, his father. And the man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor. And Solomon, seeing the young man that he was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Joseph. In other words, Solomon saw that this young man was outstanding, although he was a son of a servant. He lifted him up and elevated him to a high position. And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah, the Shilonite, found him in the way, and he had clad himself with a new garment, and they too were alone in the field. Now let me just say what took place. Ahijah, the prophet, took that new garment, tore it in twelve pieces, and gave ten of them to this boy Jeroboam and said, God is going to give you ten tribes because of the sin of Solomon, why the kingdom will be divided. But because of David, why two of the tribes will stay with the family of David. Now, notice what we have here, verse 41. We come now to the end of the reign of Solomon. By the way, when Solomon discovered what this boy Jeroboam was doing, why he sought to get him, apprehend him, and to kill him. And we are told, and Jeroboam arose, fled to Egypt under Shishak, king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon. Now we read in the rest of the Acts of Solomon and all that he did and his wisdom, are they not written in the book of the Acts of Solomon? And we'll see that again when we come to First and Second Chronicles. Now verse 42. And the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years. And we are told Solomon slept with his fathers. He was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. Now, Solomon is a very colorful ruler in the sense that he accumulated so much of this world's goods. Everything denoted wealth. Everything denoted affluence. Everything denoted that there was prosperity in the kingdom. And our Lord refers to the glory that was Solomon's. And there was that earthly glory in his kingdom.